AFTV on our way to a big game today. Wolverhampton Wanderers versus the Arsenal. We are into the territory of if we lose, season probably over. You know what I mean? This this is an absolute... I know we keep saying every week about must wins. This one is an absolute must win. Guys, how are you feeling? It's, it's not completely if we lose it's it's over it's not completely over but i will admit it's pretty much done it okay. would have to be so it's over. a massive massive turn of events for uh for it to turn around if we don't win today yeah for both yeah. like for for liverpool and us you know so this is a massive game i just feel the last couple of games we've we've sensed the pressure in the team um, missing a few chances not defending as well and this game today is there's going to be massive pressure on it there's no two ways about it I feel the one thing going in our advantage today though is that we're batting first we're going first and I think like you know if we can get the result today then that put a little bit of pressure on, on Liverpool and listen you know what Arsenal have got to do over these next two games is make sure that by the time um, Man City run out at Brighton with four points in front of yeah, them. That's exactly. exactly what we've got. That's what, and there's no other ifs or buts. We have to be four points in front of them, and hopefully points in front of Liverpool, but on the same points as Liverpool if Liverpool do what they have to do. So, listen, there's no room for uh, error no more. We've, we've um, not got that now because of um, last Sunday, and we've got to bounce back, and we've got to bounce back today. Yeah, but it's, it's not, I disagree with one thing you said, it's not one thing out of our favour. If we could have chosen a game to play after the week we've had, I think it would be this one for a number of reasons. First of all, you look at Wolves, they've got injuries. They've got massive injuries. The, uh, the manager, Gary O'Neill, came out and said he's only got 10 senior players, outfield players, that can last 90 minutes. That's got to be a big boost. Secondly, their you believe all that, then? Yeah, I, I do mm. believe it. I, I do believe they've got massive injuries. I think. So you believe pro, 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 Gary O'Neill, but you never believe Mikel when he's I in think, his press conference. I think it's <laughs> an, I think it's an exaggeration, but there's no doubt they've got big injury problems, mm. massive injury problems. There's also no doubt that they're mid-table. So I think you want to play teams at mid-table rather either fight for something at the bottom or the top at this stage of the season. So I think there's plenty going in our favour. Plus their form at the moment is. It's, yeah, but the it's thing is, right. the thing is about it, a draw is still an awful result. So you know, and our form, remember, has not been great over the last couple of games. We've lost our last two, and this is an absolute must-win game. And the problem with games like this is that Gary O'Neill, um, and by the way, they've got injuries, but there's still a lot of top players that I'd say, all right, yeah. Neto's out, and they may be missing. Um, Nori, eight Nori might yeah. be missing, but apart from that, the big boys are they're all still there. Right, and the thing is about it, right? The thing is about Cunha's back. Cunha's back. back. He played last week. He scored twice. And he had an injury towards the end of the game, and he's out for today. And and you're 100 percent sure of that, yeah? That he's out. According to Gary O'Neill, I'm 100 percent sure. Until I see that team sheet come out, I'm not 100 percent sure, right? Because Gary O'Neill, all these managers say that it's just like we played Bayern the other day. This person's out. Sane's out. They played. The first game, Gnabry's out that he played, right? So until I see that team come out, um, I, I reserve judgment. But the one thing I do know is that Gary O'Neill is a good ta- tactical manager. I remember he was Bournemouth, he nearly did us um, that time at the Emirates, right? He will know that frustrate Arsenal. Frustrate Arsenal and then the pressure is on. That's what happened to us last week against Villa. They, put, they frustrated us, then the pressure's on because we know that a draw is virtually a defeat. And then we we sort of crept under the pressure. So it's very important that we make a very, very good start today. It's very important that all of those players forget about what happened during the week, don't have no hangovers from that Champions League game and get out there and do what they've been doing away from home a lot this season. And that has been taking teams apart. I mean, Cecil, what do you think? Um, Listen, uh, it it needs to be a big performance from the boys. It's the same with what you said. Every game's a big game, but... I doubt this the whole narrative now of mentality and the, can the boys rise to this game? We thought I actually was worried about the Bayern game. I said if we lose that game, then it's capitulation is going to affect our season. I just hope we don't see that. I hope the boys can step up and get the job done. It's a big it's a big opportunity to respond and get back into it. Like Lee said, if we go four points in front of City and put the pressure on them, I know they can go on runs, but I think we can go on runs as well. So if we get the four points clear of them, 
that'll be a big boost for Arsenal. I just want to see these players rise, man. Look at the players we've been questioning. Saka, the Martinelli's. I need big performances from them. A lot of people spoke about this week about them changing up, Arteta potentially changing up, changing up the, the front line, maybe bringing in a, a Reese Nelson or something. But if he doesn't do that and he sticks with the original players that we like to see, the Declan Rice's, the, uh, the Bukai Saka's and Martinelli's, they need to have massive games, massive performances and get the job done. All right, I'm let's nervous. Get some predictions. Let's nervous. get some predictions. Seth, so what's your prediction? Oh, straight to me, geez. Straight All right, let's go. I've said I said three one. I've said three one this week. Three one was my my prediction. All right. Uh, what about you, uh, Lee? I'm going to go uh, two 0 I think it'd be a tough game, but I think that uh, we just have enough today. Julian, I'm going two 0 as well. Okay, two 0 I'm going to go for the three one as well. Um, we've been looking a little bit shaky at the back in the last couple of games. They've got to get back to defending well. Um, but I do think we'll get the job done in this game. We have to. We have to. We've got no choice. But it ain't going to be easy. It ain't going to be easy. They're going to make it difficult. But, you know, um, could it be that we're catching them at the right time? Could it be that they're catching us at the right time? We're going to find out. We're on our way to the game. Looking forward to it. We're going to do this.